We're going to use dimensional analysis to determine whether this equation seems valid. So analyzing the units to see if it all makes sense. So first of all, let's identify what we're working with here. And we have a velocity and this V sub F, uh, that's the final velocity. So it's still a velocity meters per second. And the original velocity, that would also be meters per second. And we have an acceleration, and that would be meters per second squared, and a displacement, which is meters. And the two in there, of course, no units associated with that. It's just a constant. So let's see what we have here then. So on the left of the equal sign, meters per second. On the right, we have meters per second, but that velocity is squared. And then we can forget about the two when we're just analyzing the units. The acceleration would be meters per second squared. And the displacement is meters. Okay, so on the left, nothing to do there. On the right, we could write this as meters squared per second squared. And we're adding. And then uh, we can write the one underneath if that helps us and say, well, meters times meters is meters squared, and uh, seconds squared times one is seconds squared. And so if we have something in meters squared per second squared and we add it to something else in meters squared per second squared, makes total sense. And we would have a meter squared per second squared. So that's all good on the right-hand side there. That was consistent. Now it's time to look across the equal sign and see if this makes sense. Is meters per second the same as meters squared per second squared? No. Um, that is not equal, and we can say that seems to us to make this equation invalid. Now, we look at that and we say there's something wrong with that equation. And uh, there is indeed. Um, and the equation that you'll be using further on in this course has a squared there. And so in that case, the version that we would have the correct one, then the left would be meters squared per second squared, and the right exactly as we figured it out, meters squared per second squared, and then that would be valid. Okay, so uh, to answer our question, the equation as it was presented to us is not valid. And um, this may be a situation where we recognize that and we go back and double check and recognize that we made a mistake in writing it down or whatever. And in fact, putting that squared there will sort it all out.